Jackie's Bogart Club 75 review. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here today. I want to do a little review on this Jackie's Bogart Club 75. And to be honest, I did want to review more fragrances from this house. There's so many random fragrances that have no hype out there. I'm just going to pull the trigger on, on one random one. I don't even know if I looked it up on Fragrance Car or not. So this fragrance has absolutely no hype. I just uh, tried a Jackie's Bogart Red. I thought it was okay, but I did want to try another one from the house, definitely. So I ended up with this one. I, might, I guess I must have searched this house and just picked one, but here we are today. I don't know if anybody's ever reviewed it. The notes of this fragrance are orange, cinnamon, lemon, resins, lavender, apple, sandalwood, cedar, and musk. Now, to be honest, guys, it kind of smells like a sweet, spicy, clubby fragrance, similar to, whew, similar to um, Halloween Man Shot. It takes a lot of elements from fragrances that you know it's sweet, it's likable, but it's also spicy at the same time. The notes that I smelled out of those ones are I smell a little bit of orange and lemon, like just in the top notes. And then I do smell a little bit of cinnamon down there. I do smell a very synthetic apple. The rest kind of blends together. I could see someone saying must to me. It's kind of just like a regular thickness to me, but I could see some of those other ones in there. But the only ones I really smelled was orange, cinnamon, lemon, and apple. A very synthetic apple, but an apple. All right, guys, let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is that it is pretty inoffensive. It's kind of generally sweet. Um, it's got a little bit of spiciness to it. It's not really something I could see people being very offended by. I do think it's better for the cooler weather. It is called Club 75, so I'm assuming that it's going to be kind of like a going out type fragrance, kind of be like a clubbing type fragrance. That's just my guess. Kind of makes sense why it fits better in the cooler weather. And generally kind of sweet, spicy fragrances do go better in the cooler weather for sure. And then this is also very cheap. I think this is about $20, so super cheap, pretty inoffensive, pretty decent for those nighttime situations. But unfortunately, that's where the pros end. Let's jump into the cons of this fragrance. The cons, in my opinion, is it's a little bit of a confused fragrance. This is kind of how I would put Halloween Man Shot. So Halloween Man Shot had a bunch of elements from fragrances that we liked, but it didn't really have the overall charm of any of them in my opinion and it just kind of smelled like a bunch of random sweet spices thrown into one and you know it didn't smell super bad but it, again it didn't really have that charm and it kind of just smelled a little bit confused and that's kind of what I get here. I do think Halloween Man Shop maybe smells a little bit better and is possibly a little more offensive. This one like, again is a little bit more light and if you're wondering also why it's uh, tilted like that, a couple of times I thought it was just a cap and I, I just yanked this right off. So um, I have yanked this off accidentally a few times and it's just a, a built-in sprayer like that. It doesn't really smell bad, but again, it doesn't really have a little bit of a, like, a really unique kind of character at the same time. The projection is a little bit lower, but at the same time, I don't know, it's a $20 fragrance. It's just whatever. It's a, I would say right on the nose, average projector, maybe a slight bit below average. It's not like a 45 minute fragrance, but it's not like a two hour fragrance either. Um, so as far as like having like really big boisterous like projection, like you will smell it for sure. Probably, probably up to six, seven hours if you spray it up a lot and like go and hug somebody. But maybe I have smelled this a little bit the next day. I'm not too sure, but generally I remember this being pretty light. I've tried this at least like five days or so. If I was going to give it a smell rating, I'd give it a six to a 6.5. It's pretty solid. Just doesn't really have as much of a DNA or character. Likeability, I'd have to give it a seven. It is generally pretty likable. I would say it's inoffensive because it has a little bit of sweetness and it doesn't have an extremely high projection. So in my opinion, it's, it's inoffensive. But if I were to give it a likeability rating, I'd give it a probably a solid seven because it's not really something that's going to make people be like, oh, wow, like what, you know, what is that? I really wouldn't expect that from this fragrance. And then longevity and projection, I'd give it a 5.5 to a 6. Not the worst projector on this channel for sure, but definitely not the best. And then situations, I actually wanted to respray this up for the situations and I didn't write them down. So let me give them to you right now. 
it does smell a little bit better than I was kind of, I was kind of just kind of destroying it there in the review, but it smells good, but it just smells like too many things. I don't know, this is just, isn't just something I'd wanna wear for work. Uh, it's just a little sweet, spicy, a little bit, a little bit off-putting, the slightest bit. It's just something I wouldn't wanna wear for work. Really wouldn't wanna wear it for the gym. Would be okay for a general going out situation. Like it would be, oh, I guess okay if you had to use it on a date. It wouldn't be the worst date fragrance, but it definitely wouldn't be the number one thing I would go for. This is just a general going out, uh, cooler weather style fragrance. I picture anybody could wear it. Um, age range, I don't know. I would say somebody like like 25 to 45. That's just my guess right there. But anyways, guys, have you tried Club 75? I'll be very interested to see down below. Have you tried any more, have you tried any more of these Jackie's Bogarts? I definitely would need some more suggestions because this is just a random one I picked up and I think I'm going to, um, I think I would be more interested in something else from his line. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. Hope you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.